Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to create the intent and rest of the flows, right? So in the previous uh, video, we saw how to uh, create a chatbot, right? Or the bot in the legs, right? Which give us something like uh, this uh, page after we create the intent, right? uh, sorry, uh, we create the bot, right? Just a second, yeah. Okay, so first what I will do is I will walk through the things that we have over here, okay? So one of the new features or the cool features they have added is something like conversational flow. This is like how the user is going to talk and what will be the response from the bot. So it gives you like more and more or less uh, uh, the overview of the conversation that you're creating, uh, which usually we don't get right uh, while developing. Second section is the name of the uh, bot uh, intent, not the bot. Okay, you can provide the description over here. Second is the context. So let's say if you're asking something, you want to keep the conversation going uh, or the follow up intent, I mean, uh, to go to the follow up intent, then you use the context. Uh, sample utterance. So let's start with over here. Uh, I will add something like hi and hello main menu uh, what is a okay so these are sample letters i have added like user will say hi hello or whatever uh, based on that uh, we will trigger the welcome intent right which is the initial entry uh, what after that uh, so once i do that right so if you see this is user have typed so this is a user now i want a response right so something like over here so if I click over here, it will uh, scroll down and come over here and it will, uh, we can type the message like whatever the bot want to respond. So I will say, hi, welcome to, let's say, read the manual. Okay. So that is a message that I have given over here, something like that. And then if you want to capture some uh, information, let's say if you are going with the, how can I put, let's say if you want to collect the, want to place an order or not or something like that and that, uh, or the UPI ID or any details like account number and all those things that you can mention over here, the slots. Uh, what else we have, we have the confirmation prompt. So once the user enter something like I want to check about my account balance, you can provide the confirmation over here. You can go to the backend and then uh, when I say backend, it's a Lambda function. And for the Lambda, we have the succession failure message also. And if it is a end of the conversation, you can put the, uh, the message over here. So if I click on the save, right? Uh, Let's click on the save. I'm not sure it will save or not. So if you see over here, right, uh, the hi is there, welcome is there. And sometimes it gets a little bit tricky to understand, right? So let me go over here as a visual builder. Uh, I like this one from uh, uh, Amazon Lex side. So they have added something like the flow where you can see like how it is going. I, this is similar to what we had in the Dialogflow CX uh, side or Cori.ai side or uh, which applications does that have? Uh, the Genesis one also have this one, similar to that. Okay, so similar to that, we have our, if I click uh, edit over here, I will get those same properties like which we saw in the earlier one, right? But this is specific for the this particular intent, right? Now, if you want to capture a slot after that, uh, then you can uh, add a slot. So you can put this thing over here and that thing. So I will not put, oops, it came anyway. So mm, yeah, that is all. Uh, so this is how we can create a intent and uh, create a response. Next, we will discuss how to uh, use a slot uh, to get more or create a whole conversation out of it. Hopefully you like the video. Thank you.